was yeah true so when uh, so, so usually like when people get started so for example when i myself got started in the markets my expectation was to make around 10 20 percentage per month so what was your expectation when you got started good question i uh, you asked so as i said actually i am coming from different schooling uh, school of thought coming from rich dad poor dad uh, okay. uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, school of thought there i had a uh, written expectation of 2% so in 2014 i was uh, uh, drawing more than 1 lakh salary okay. okay so i had only 3 lakhs in my hand because i don't i had a home loan i had a car loan guess i was i was only the breadwinner at my family so definitely i will not have much money so so i had only 3 lakhs in my hand so I, let's get started with the 3 lakhs but i can pull more money so i had the power so my written expectation was 2% per month because my attitude is different Okay. okay from the day one i did not have any confusion any kind of uh, what do you say actually mm-hmm. kind of uh, doubt self doubt okay. because because the path i chose is very very uh, the right path so i thought okay 6000 per month is totally fine to me because okay. market is ready, ready to reward only roi it doesn't look at okay. the it doesn't look at the capital okay, okay. so y- y- you may be having one cr and if you are expecting 10% per month then you are a retail and you are having 5 lakhs and your return expectation is 2 to 3% then you are set to be a big boy so the money is not defining whether it is a retail or a big boy only the big boy only the return expectation is defining your uh, uh, this one but who is uh, i mean why you are expecting uh, this roi more than 10% 20% because your attitude is something different your attitude is towards the retail so if your attitude is like a big boy you will not have any problem so the first is you need to program your mindset yes so basically it all starts with uh, your mindset and it's not about your capital whether you are a retailer or a big boy uh, definitely yes true and now so like when it comes comes to getting started majority of the times people struggle by wiping out their capital that is they get started and they lose their money all those things so have you experienced a situation where you are wiping out your capital something like that i mean in training uh, 90 95% of the people lose money only 5% of the uh, people make money within the 5% people actually 90% of the people they make loss for period of for 5 years or 10 years of time then only they learn it from the day one i did not make loss every quarter i close with the profit maybe i'm blessed but okay. the true answer is actually you are in right path okay in computer if you want to get the output you need to give a right input Correct. very simple okay the input actually you may be giving after so many mistakes or you may be giving correct input okay <laughs> okay so it is your mistakes if you are giving if you are not giving a correct input actually it is your mistake so what is the correct input again going to the uh, basics your return expectation should be 2 to 3% mm-hmm. then you do the price action you do the short strangle short straddle any strategy will will work any trend following strategies anything your return expectation is based on this one you design your strategies most of the time 99% it works so so that is the reason why i did not have any loss maybe i had a drawdown of 10% that has been recovered in a uh, uh, in two months of time but every quarter i was able to close, close with the profit the so sir like uh, when we speak about the aspects that we need to look into while getting trading because uh, when beginners get started they focus mainly on strategy they really don't focus anything on risk management so they always keep emphasizing on what strategy to do the strategy to follow all those things So, what do you prioritize? Risk management, strategy, trading psychology. Like, what are the things that will be more important? The thing is, right? So, uh, if 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 you ask me to talk about trading psychology, okay. I don't know much about it because I never faced psychological problem mm-hmm. since 2014 till now. Okay, mm-hmm. and risk management part also, I was very clear. So, like a big boy. Uh, in intraday my risk management is actually 2% for non expiry day 3% for expiry day that is the maximum risk i can have and return expectation when you have a return expectation of 2 to 3% automatically your risk management is perfect the base is good okay, okay. when you have a highest return expectation only you will have a risk management is really bad otherwise actually it is not a big deal at all okay so with the respect to the risk management keep 2% or 1% or 4% the some number should be there okay and for expiry day i am keeping it 3% so that is the risk management part psychology part if you are tuning to this roi 2 to 3% actually you will not have any psychological problem in a stock market okay and when i was trading with the 5 5 lakhs i was having a mindset of as i am trading for 10 cr okay because some people ask me a question jagan trading with the 3l how do you are how are you happy with the 6k mm. i said 
see one day i may get a get a good capital maybe 10 lakhs 20 lakhs one cr two cr okay but my mindset is i am going to trade as i am trading for 100 cr that is my mindset so once you have a mindset the risk management is also 100 cr for risk management also you are going to do 100 cr the return expectation also going to do for 100 cr the trading psychology also uh, for 100 cr so that's it's not a big trouble at all for me the risk management by default you will get in option selling your success rate is 80 percent so once in a while you get a two percent loss the next to two percent loss hardly it comes hardly it comes okay so that's what i had been doing so risk management was two percent in intraday and expiry date is three percent uh, you know you know in a period of uh, one month actually you may get 10 percent but that's fine but you will make 30 to 40 percent uh, return on option selling so that's what i had been doing since 2014 till now so that's a very good answer in fact so first of all we should prioritize on our expectations so if you are targeting just two to three percentage returns by default our risk management would be in place yeah everything is stemming from that correct correct <laughs> so you also select the premiums based on how much returns you want to target correct so that is your safety safety factor also a lot depends on how much returns you are targeting obviously